it's a comprehensive notion of the you know, rationality, you know, there's so many kinds of rationality now. Uh, we, we, rationality can be calculated, can be totally self-interested. So rationality in itself is not necessarily congenial to human flourishing. It can be inst especially instrumental rationality. That's why you know uh, Greek philosopher, German philosopher, develop a different sense called a communicative rationality. Rationality through <coughs> conversation, through communication. Otherwise, rationality is not necessarily <coughs> human flourishing. Uh, we will have a chance to talk about these later. Then the difference between the king and the hegemon. The hegemony is based upon power and influence. The king is based upon sympathy and rightness. And then, what is civilized, what is uncivilized? You know, some people confuse this distinction you mentioned between Chinese and barbarians. Anything, anyone who is not Chinese will be considered barbarian. This is like uh, in ancient Greece, right? You are not, you are not part of the uh, Hellenistic world, you are barbarian. But that's not the case in, in, uh, in nations. It's basically a cultural category. You behave in a certain way. For example, uh, the so-called tribes, the nine tribes outside of China, and people say, oh, they're very barbarian. Confucius said, I'm going to join them, because this world here is barbarian. Uh, for example, these nine tribes still have the idea of kingship, who is the king, whereas in the, in the central plain where China is, the idea of kinship is gone. So we are not as civilized as they are. So being civilized or not civilized is not ethnically determined. It's culturally determined. And cultural determination is based upon your behavior, not simply based upon your, your theory or your, your imagination. <coughs> Maybe late, uh, we'll discuss this uh, later, but I, let me, let me uh, <coughs> sharpen the discussion a little bit by uh, making one concluding remark. The idea of being human in the, uh, in the modern world is a uh, human being as an uh, economic animal. Ec uh, what is what's the term? Uh, economic. Uh, human beings are economic beings, this, this notion. I call it the idea of the economic man. Whether we like it or not, we are very much a part of this world. What is an economic man? An economic man, my definition, is uh, a rational animal who's uh, critically and acutely aware of his self-interest, who tries hard to maximize his profit in a relatively free market adjudicated by law. This is an economic man. And this economic man embodies some of the great values of the modern time. Rationality. Rationality, the test for rationality here is whether you know yourself interest or not. If you don't even know yourself interest, you're not rational, right? Not only you know yourself interest, you are motivated, or some people say by greed. I don't want to use the word greed. You're motivated to maximize your profit. In other words, your influence or your money or anything. But uh, it is uh, in the marketplace. Of course, no market is totally free, but relatively free market. So you don't have this guilt you, you, you because your status and so forth. But the market, you know, need to fight. Everybody has a chance. As long as you don't violate the law. So you are you are doing doing uh, uh, this thing. You know, I think last time we talked about this too. You're doing you uh, doing this thing. This is typically unmentioned. This is the the diametrically opposed the conception of being human from Mencius. Uh, I want uh, next time I want to talk a little bit more about this. I want you to think what are some of the values from the Mencius point of view that are totally missing in the idea of the economic man. Rationality, great. Rights, we have human rights, great. Freedom, great. Dignity of the person, great. Law, all these are great. What are some of the things that are missing? Yeah. Uh, 
So the economic man, is from a mentioned point of view, is a disaster. Uh, we begin to see some of the limitations, but we haven't really seen the disastrous consequences yet. Uh, someone who's reading Chinese? Oh, you are the person. This is for you. We just got it from Beijing, so yesterday. So you're obligated to read it with care, right? <laughs>